with checkpoints in the northeast of Spain. A manhunt is underway for the driver of the van that plowed into a Barcelona crowd last Thursday, but authorities are unsure whether he has left the country. One of the measures that they have taken was to reinforce security at the borders and at airports. Obviously, that doesn't exclude the possibility that he's crossed the border by other means. Police have set up dozens of roadblocks to find one remaining member of a 12-man terrorist cell. They are thought to have been preparing explosives meant for even deadlier attacks before some of the bombs exploded prematurely in a house in Alcanar, south of Barcelona. At least two people died as a result. Investigators have found more than 100 unexploded tanks of butane gas in the wreckage of the home. The explosives currently being discovered are the same ones that were used in other Islamic State group attacks. Ingredients of the same kinds of bombs are being found, which leads us to conclude that this is where they were building the explosives. Police are also seeking a missing Moroccan imam who may have died in the al Qanar house explosion. He's thought to be at the head of the terrorist cell and may have helped indoctrinate the young attackers, all in their teens and twenties. In all, police believe 12 people were involved in the planning and execution of the attacks on Thursday and Friday.